so probably right. I know that um, we're both looking forward to the the uh, the events track and field, especially. Um, who in the track and field? What events in track and field are you most? Oh my God, what events? Okay, so let me start. <laughs> First off, one hundred, two hundred, four hundred. 800 i'm so sad that a ting mo is not going to be there but 800 nonetheless i think us might not get the the goal in this one i think uh, um maybe poland or what's the name from poland that runs it anyway i don't think us going to get the goal in this one but i hope that they do um and that's an 800 game. yes and the 800 um the the hurdles um i can't wait to see fankable go up against our uh sydney mclaughlin in the 100 meter hurdles. I can't wait to see uh, Brent Holloway try to do his thing in the hurdles. Not try to do his thing. I think he's going to do his thing. He looks very, very inspired and motivated. Um, so I definitely see him doing his thing. But, you know, um, he definitely has some challenges there at home and abroad. Um, what else is there? Um, the relays. The relays. The relays. The pinnacle of the Olympic Games. I think they usually close out with the relays, don't they? Oh. The pinnacles of the of the Olympic Game. The four by four, uh, the four by one. I don't know. I think they're gonna have the mix in the relay too. The they four are. by four mix. Yep. In the mm -hmm. relay. Mm -hmm. Um and also gymnastics. Gymnastics. Cannot wait. wait to... Let's let's roll back okay. to the track and field first. Mm -hmm. So you were talking about the relay teams. What we I was looking up last night, you and I were kind of collaborating on is they have not released the relay team. They've released the pool of candidates, but not the actual relay team, which I thought is just crazy. But <laughs> I don't know. I think that's kind of the norm in the US, maybe. I mean, you said I other, think other other countries too, have days. already released theirs. And I was seeing in the four by uh, 400 that I do believe that America could struggle there. The four by 400? Yes. Who do you think is going to challenge them? I saw, I was looking at Poland. Great Britain, mm -hmm. and uh, who was the other one? Yeah, I was surprised I didn't see Jamaica. Like Jamaica doesn't typically have a the four country. by four hundred. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, definitely Poland, Great Britain, Ireland was the other. Okay. Yeah, all mm -hmm. of them have some great sprinters that have had some great records. Like in the last two years, in twenty twenty three and twenty twenty four, yeah, records that rival the U.S. Um, uh, personal best yeah. in the last couple of years. That, That's amazing. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, okay. Last thing on track and field while they're playing a commercial, you know, we put out the top 10 fastest sprinters in the men's and the women's. Do you think any of their, those, cause you know, cause Shane, cause Shane from Jamaica just got on the list in June. Do you think he's going to go even faster for the Olympics? Do you think somebody's going to get kicked off the list? Absolutely. I think he'll go faster. I think the only way he wouldn't go faster is because both of the races, three of the races that I saw him run, um, each time he uh, uh, pulled up or decelerated at the, at the like, the, you know, 70 mile mark or like right. 50 miles yeah. mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. 20 miles yeah. he was so, so far ahead of everybody he just kind of cruised yeah he just cruised yeah. yeah he was making a mockery of so I think that's he, yeah I think I think it's his uh his you know what I haven't seen though I haven't seen what his true top end speed is he has a really good acceleration he has good force uh so if he gets out in front good luck catching him whereas Noah Lyles, he's not a good burst runner, but Noah Lyles' top end speed is on yeah, the rise. He, like, he, he won't run you down. Yeah. He won't run you down. So that's the thing. Like, Noah, Noah can't allow him to get too far ahead of him, but mm -hmm. he can run you down. So I, I'd love, to, I, I mean, I'd love to see that, to see, you know, Krishan in his burst get out there and see if Noah can run that down. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, this is the big stage, and the big stage, you know, p people, they either rise to the pressure or fall. That is and true. Noah seems to be a guy, hey, if you're running fast, he, I'm going to run he fast. in your energy. He is. And so he each is time a he, energy. I think three times this year, he's he's like run personal best. So he's mm -hmm. just gotten better and better and better. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he can definitely, he can definitely rise to the occasion. Now, Krishan, this is the first time I'm going to be seeing him in a really big race. So he just we'll came see. from nowhere. 
Seems like. Seems like. He they're just, back. They're back. I think this is uh, nice. Special now. Yes. Like, are you gonna? Who's gonna be watching golf? Is anybody watching golf? I'm gonna watch it. You're gonna watch. I'm just gonna watch. It. Plus, the golf course is beautiful. The golf course is beautiful. And when I was doing the research, I kind of felt like I got familiar with these guys. I was like, <laughs> you know? I'm gonna be watching break dancing. I can't <laughs> wait for that. I'm I'm gonna be front and center. Now, Jamaica's coming through with those sprinters. Um, Elaine got injured, so she won't be there. She will not be defending her 100 or 200. Right. I was thinking uh, Sharika, but then I remember it's not Sharika. It's actually Elaine that's the defending 100 and 200 meter running. So are we done with track and field then? I believe so, other than Quincy, the oh. phenom. Let's you go ahead and talk about him. What okay, do you think he should be on the relay team? What are you, what are your thoughts on that? I know you said you were gonna break down how the relay goes, but we want to leave that for a separate video because it's it's a lot to go it's into. Go into it, right? So I, I think the thing with the relay is is that um you can't always go with the fastest person. You have to have experience, you have to have different types of runners, you have to have runners. Well, when Prince Quincy case, he's running the 400 so it's you know one lap around the track so mm -hmm. that that doesn't matter with the different type of runners and their skill at running the turn or whatever but you have to have runners who have experience in the relay itself mm -hmm. and i was saying even though he's 16 relay is his thing he's been doing this and you've been kind of watching him and, and seeing his the video we put up on him the first one mm -hmm. where he's been running people down in the relay like that's his thing like he he rises to the occasion. Like right. the young man is poised. He's young, but he's poised. And I really do think that he could hold himself. He can hold him on his own and run in the race. I know that, you know, people want to give it to, you know, people that's 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 more experienced, that has more experience mm -hmm. in that. And I can okay. understand that. I wouldn't run go in the Olympics. Yeah, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go against that either way. But I also would look at how did they perform in those Olympics. And if they didn't perform well, why not get a kid a chance? It, and if he did, and if they win, like, we'll create history with that. That would be amazing. Okay. That would be amazing. So for me, I want to see Quincy run. Quincy, at least in one of the heats, in one of the prelims. Can we get him in one of the prelims? Is that too much to ask? <laughs> well, it would depend on what their competition is. Don't get them kicked out early. Don't, don't get them sent home before they make it to the <laughs> He's been running. He's been running the same time as the, the guys that are. There. He's been doing amazing. It's not like he really like has. he's not on that team just for a fun story. He yeah. has performed. He has. He has performed. And not he leads not just a Cinderella story. At the end, I'm like this little boy, young man. This young man it. looks like yeah. he, he is going to collapse yeah. because he has. He gets around that. And I used to run the 400. It wasn't that great, but I did run it. I did too. <laughs> and and when you make it to, to that final stretch and you're trying to give it your all and your body is saying, I got nothing, nothing. left to give you. And I'm so Quincy just pushing He's through that. Coming. He is pushing through it like, I'm mm -hmm. going to make my body have something left. It, yeah. it's, Wait yeah. till he get it his is. grown man muscles. This is yeah. going to be over. Yeah, yeah. Y'all get y'all on now. It's Quincy coming. It's going to be long to Quincy. <laughs> Next two years, he got it. Yeah. Michael Norman, go on somewhere. That's that blood, that's gonna be Londa Quincy. Because he right now he's trying to catch up with y'all. So I know it's it's he, some of the people that two of the guys that are in the relay pool, Quincy beat them in the Holloway Classic uh mm -hmm. last weekend. I think it was last week. Yeah, last yeah, week we in Florida. So yeah. I mean if he can beat them, then yeah, he can do it. He can do it. I don't want to see him be in the front or the end. Throw him in, in the second or third leg. Honestly, I think the, the front, he can run. Especially if he's behind. Like this dude, he has the will of like that is him. True. And that is true. You're yeah. right. I, you're right. That is true. Listen, <laughs> for, you, for you guys that are out there and are gonna watch this now, go back and watch our first video on Quincy, the phenom, and see how he his partner fell down. He was like half a track back. And he ran these dudes down from Jamaica like he just ran them down. So this dude has been doing it. And you've seen it at the U.S. trials. And you've seen it in the last one we put up for the holiday uh, classic. 
Like he he knows his race and he runs his race. That's the thing about him. He runs his race. Let's hear what they say with Jamon Dale. Look, they got the break dancing in the middle. I think they think they're gonna be us in break dancing. No, they ain't. I will tell you though, you see them twins, less twins? They better not have less twins as their <laughs> as their people for the break dancing. Uh, Paris, that is. That's uh, probably why they put it there. Because they knew they could win it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put a, a guaranteed win on the ticket. Yeah, I didn't see baseball. It's so it's sport. Sport. No, we have the break dancing, which I'm not sure we're gonna. No, we're gonna watch. I'm going to watch break dancing and report back to you because <laughs> if the U.S. loses, put me on the camera. So <laughs> this message is for Chris Brown, especially. <laughs> if the U.S. loses break dancing, Chris Brown, next year you're up, but. You and all your break dancing friends. Because we should have sent our A team. We should have sent our Avengers like they did basketball. Right? <laughs> oh, Russia and Belarus are banned from the Olympics. I thought they let them in because they let them to play um to play uh tennis, Wimbledon. Uh, that sucks for the athletes though. I don't I don't think that's okay. I mean, Chad, what do you think? Do you think the athletes should pay for the sins of the countries. Do you think Russia and the Belarusian um, athletes should have been banned from the Olympics? Yes. You do think that they should pay for it? I do. I don't think so because I mean, the athletes this is are every, participating, this is, though, right? Participating. Wasn't it for doping? No, this is for the war. Oh. 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 Oh, okay. For the war in Ukraine, they are not allowing them. Oh, so sad for yes, yeah. Thank you, Grigio. I think it's sad for all of the athletes. Like, yeah, nobody likes what you know what Russia is doing and what Belarus what Belarus is participating in. But you know, the Olympics is every four years. Some of these athletes they have one window, two windows tops, and they don't get to participate. And you know, especially for track and field athletes, this is like their life goal, like tennis and whatever. They can go on and play whatever, but yeah, this is the pinnacle of their sport for track and field. So I think it's sad for them, too. Th thank you. Somebody agrees with me. Okay. All right. Now, the in commercial, mm -hmm. Tanzania. Uh, who are you looking forward to in tennis? I mean, of course, uh, the U.S. Coco. team. Coco. But I'm also looking forward to the doubles with Coco and uh, Coco and they they lost in Wimbledon, so I'm hoping to see them make a, a, a good comeback there. Um, I'm looking forward to um, uh, what's the name that won Wimbledon? Alvarez to see mm -hmm. if he can repeat, or to see if Novak can finally get his gold medal for Serbia. Serbia, yeah. So those I'm looking forward to. Very good. You know, when we were talking about basketball, we did not mention a three on three. I know we had a couple of people go out for the U.S. team. Who and that's on the females three by three. Mm -hmm. Who did we who who did we end up with? <laughs> so um Ryan yeah, Haley Ryan Halford is back. Okay. So it was her and Cam Brink that went down. Right. Um so she's back. So Cam Brink is definitely out. Cam Brink's teammate, Bierica Hamby, took her spot. Uh -huh. So then we still have um Haley Van Litt and uh sorry, Haley Van Litt and Burker. I can't remember Burke's first name. Okay. A Burke is so impossible. And Burke is a standby? No, she's one of three. No, but yeah. four people on the team. So okay. they stub in okay. the world. Yeah. They don't have to tie again or anything. They just come in when they feel like you know, the person you are. They hit you You're like, all right. Oh, okay. They look tired. Like, like, <laughs> if you're watching three on three, I'm definitely, I, I, if, if I'm available, I'll scream it live for sure. Yeah. By stream it. You know what I mean. <laughs> you mean you're not going to get our channel taken down. Mm. That's what you mean. <laughs> Where's our basketball girls? We saw Asia. Who else? We got Diana Tarasi and uh, oh, Brittany Reiner. Listen, if there's one thing that is sure about this Olympic Games for the U.S. is that the women's basketball team is bringing home that gold. As sure as the sun is going to rise and you will not say anything else. I mean, what I'm going to say is they did get beat. But <laughs> they got beat by Team WNBA. That's the U.S. and U.S. 
The U.S. can field three teams and still bring home the gold. Did you see what they did to Germany? No. They beat them by like 40 points. Oh, wow. In the exhibition. <laughs> because, you know, Russia, Australia, they have some, I mean, they've been at this basketball thing for a while. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they got, have leagues that. They ain't got good at it. Australia is, uh, has a good league. Right. The NBL is Because a, a lot of uh, players here that don't make the WNBA. Spain has a good league. Spain, Australia. <laughs> I don't even know what to play basketball. And that uh, where Brittany Brown got uh, ends up. Yeah, they, they, yeah they, she did. Yeah. Where's Bahamas? Still Bahamas. Already gone? I should not believe I missed Bahamas. Thank you, Don Tony, for being late. You're welcome. <laughs> 80. Yes, <Yeah>, 80. <laughs> seven yeah, eight. Eight. They, don't, they didn't feel a soccer team? They didn't feel the female soccer team? I'm surprised. How many have been saying? Go, that? India. You know they're um, Remember, they're four by 400 team. Remember, we saw the, the man Bahamas. Man. They, yeah. The men and the women qualify. I was impressed with their women. Very much impressed. Team GB will be GB. its entrance here as we watch. Another, this another powerhouse in the track and field is Great Britain. Jamaica. Jamaica in the house. Liberia. Liberia. Hi, guys. <laughs> We saw them in Bahamas, the Liberia track team, and there's your guy right behind you. <laughs> nice to see you. They're like old friends. Looks <laughs> like it. Oh, our, our, our Liberian team, the them backs, them backs, them backs. <laughs> you know, they did say, though, you think this is something waiting to see. I can't wait to see it. So, what we're talking about. And we should have had a picture to put it up there. But what we're talking about <laughs> is Liberia's costume, the men's mm -hmm. uh, four mm -hmm. by one hundred costume. Yeah. May have a computer though. Best costume, the best, best costume. Best. We, I mean, we did a whole video on it. Go check them out. It's called "Bringing Sexy Back." Yeah, Ukraine. <laughs> Yay for you, for hundred and forty out there. They definitely have a tennis player that's going to be playing for them. The U.S., look at them. They got 594 athletes. That boat is packed to them. Hey, all right. So this is, this is how the slide bear is in front. You want me to bring that over here and plug it in this one? No, nope, it's good. Uh -huh. I'm sure this thing. Turn on my belly. <laughs> Um, my Oreos I've been eating all summer. <laughs> I know this is this is a memory. This was the one. This is, see, I don't blame LeBron. The man's the smart man. This is the one you want to be in. I mean, they're all special, but you've never been in one like this. Everybody usually walk, you know. Yeah. So why would China and Hong Kong not be? Um, just because, like Puerto Rico and the U.S., how the U.S. is zero. Uh, that makes sense. A territory. Uh -huh. That makes sense. Okay. And even though they follow each other alphabetically and are border nations, no surprise that Iran and Iran. Both. You already know. <laughs> That's why I said you should put India next to Pakistan, but they got to be on separate boats. <laughs> Here's our guy again. He's on the rooftop now. I think he stole something out the loop. Somebody should check him. <laughs> Check his pockets, y'all. <laughs> Stole the queen's ring or something. <laughs> okay, they've got a uh, rocket going up into space. The moon. Why is there a bullet in the moon's eye? That is a bullet. That's not good. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Look, our Statue America, of Liberty, Statue of Li which I was donated here. to America by France. Fun fact. Yeah. France is really starting to look like America with all the color. That's <laughs> a good thing. They not have taller before. When you say taller, are we talking to people? We're not talking to people. <laughs> Becoming a melting pot. I like a melting it. pot. Yeah. 
their front and center, especially their athletes, athletes, especially their athletes. athletes. I saw um, something on Facebook. (laughs) Not Facebook. I think it was on YouTube. Someone put together a video of uh, France picking its team. And France pick all the black kids and the white parents. It's like, you you can't do that. It's just like, what? Can't what? (laughs) Can't what? (laughs) Pick all the (laughs) But no, like, look, track and field, tennis. Like, look at all of them. (laughs) Now they're going to take over opera. (laughs) Like we all yeah, they over here taking over country, right? Hey, <laughs> let everybody you know we, we we shouldn't be we shouldn't be limited. I agree. Let everybody have some. If you're talented at it, and if you want to experience it and see how you do, it'd be allowed to. Yeah, absolutely. And you get to see nations that you don't even know of. I know. I have no idea where Lubisuk is. Now I have to go look it up. Latvia, yeah, yeah, I do yeah. know. Look at this. <laughs> So yeah, they're gonna have break dancing. Who is excited to see break dancing in the chat? Do you have the chat up? Do we have two two comments? Oh, we do. Wow! How in the world did they coordinate? Right? How did they coordinate yeah. all of this? It it is quite amazing. Right. And thank you for watching. Thank you. Grigio. What are you looking forward to, Grigio? Oh, Grigio. Yes, yeah, Grigio. Yes. So- Hey, nice. Okay. I didn't even know they were surfing. They do have surfing. They do have surfing. I did see that one on the list. Marilyn, what you know about surfing? You don't do no surfing up there. That's a California sport, right? Yeah. <laughs> you must be from California living in Maryland. Let us know. Let us know. <laughs> it has to be. This is how they entertain the, the kings and the queens of the time. <laughs> And if it wasn't, it was off with your head. <laughs> I mean, you've been to Bahamas, you've been to Dirks and Cages. I'm just going to let you know. Yeah, been to Bahamas many a times. And you've been to Turks and Cages many a times. I'm just going to tell you. You ain't going to know the difference. What's down the set? Monaco. I am not sure about those outfits. It's kind of a where is Waldo look. They've got six athletes from Monaco. There's Noah. Noah, you need to do something with your beard. You need to get your beard game better. I had no idea that they had French rappers. Like, Come on, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't you know how that. excited I was when I found out about Bad Bunny? Don't say that. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, what? And it sounded so good, too. In France, shout out to Snoop. Like Snoop. He <laughs> looked like an uncle now. <laughs> He's like a granddad. He's like, get an uncle. Right now. Portugal. That's going to be my adopted home someday. <laughs> as soon as I learn Portuguese. <laughs> just a little bit. Just hi, hello, where's the bathroom? Where do I get food? <laughs> Oh, look, St. Lucia. I mean, what they have? They don't, they didn't say. when they're that small. One. That's Moses' country. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Moses' people. <laughs> this one loves cats. I do love cats. <laughs> one of her I cats see. bit me. One of her cats. I've never been bitten by a dog, but I have been bitten by her cat. I had a cat. Um, I had a cat look just like that. His name was Horatio. I don't this up. You know the guys be oiled down in their little uh, the Greek uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't think of the name of it. We got it. Tonga, yeah, has four. We got a few, quite a few oh, on the Trinidad down there. Hey, I told you him. Yeah, here guy. we go. Oh, so it was Tonga, not not Togo. <laughs> Not oiled up. I mean, it's, well, it's like it might not work out good. well if they were oiled up out there. <laughs> well, I was never interested in swimming until Michael Phelps. Really? Like, he just, you know how you have that one mm-hmm. athlete that just like really, go. right, that just draws people in because of their greatness. And yeah, Michael Phelps, totally. That was just like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Have joined the armed forces with 400 athletes and killed. 
Oh, is this well, I have more than 400 athletes have been killed in the Ukraine. Oh, right wow. Now. Because, you know, you send them, they join up. Oh. There, there's France. Mm -hmm. They got to have, let me see how many do they have. About 71. There's 20, 20 what, 20, 25? Mm -hmm. 22, because they have 5 million people. Man, they got a big boat. I mean, it's a beautiful boat, too, isn't it? It's the same red, white, and blue. This is different. <laughs> they are packed to the gills. So we you have some rear, and the rain is coming down, and they are like, we don't care. <laughs> they are packed in there. That is awesome. Hope you guys watch some surfing. We definitely will. We will definitely we will. watch some surfing. <laughs> we will. We will look up the schedule and hey, I may become a new fan, right? It is, I mean. So does the host nation have to qualify or they just like, listen, we're the host nation. We're putting somebody in every race. I know for golf, they automatically get to. There we go. For golf, they automatically, they did not have to qualify. They automatically get to. Who is Wendy? I didn't see him. I didn't see him either. Thank you. Yeah, and we do. We thank you guys. For joining us, you ready to shut down? You can get on your meeting still. No, I already can. Oh, you can ask the different thing, So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and shut it down. But we will be um, coming back often, often, often throughout the next what two to three weeks. Yes. For um, coverage of the Olympics, let's have some fun with it. <laughs> go Team USA! Yay! We will at <laughs> you when that surfing comes. We will send us a message. July thirtieth. I'm putting it on the calendar. Yes, July thirtieth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, have a good one. Thank you, Please guys. Please join us. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. All right, we have fun. Bye. Goodbye.